and already pre-shuffled. And I'll be using two oracle cards for your recent pass. They're the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Once again, those are for the recent pass. Then I'll go through the present, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So Aries, in the recent past, we have, we have healing family issues. And this card says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And then the other oracle says, awaken. Keep your eyes open when we decide to live a more conscious life. We see signs of grace everywhere. So in the recent past, you probably forgave your parents or you were thinking about forgiving your parents or you should have forgiven your parents. Uh, it would have benefited your love life. That's what this Healing Family Issues card is saying. Um, it would have also awakened you. Your eyes would have been more open. Um, you would have been living a more conscious life. And probably more graceful life. Because we all... Well, not everyone knows this, but I was going to say, we all know that forgiveness, it, it's, uh, it can be a cleansing experience. Very cleansing and therapeutic. So it does a lot for the, for the soul. And it definitely awakens you. And it, um, forgiveness also, uh, it allows you to have better relationships with people. Because you're cleansed in a lot of ways that you would not imagine unless you've experienced forgiveness and being forgiven. So, Aries, that was your recent past. Let's head on over to the present time. We have the Ten of Cups and Temperance. Now, just to explain the Ten of Cups, it's one of the most uplifting cards that you can get in a reading. This card, it's about happiness perhaps in a m more mature, grown-up kind of way. Either way, it's a good card. The Ten of Cups, it's about happy family life. Uh, even if you're single, and to the well-being that goes beyond you yourself, which includes those that you are most concerned about, could be your parents, children, siblings, etc., also, with the Ten of Cups, being spiritually fulfilled could be a part of your picture at this time. This is a good card to see regardless of any questions. Now, when it's referring to relationships and love, if you're worrying about a romantic relationship, it's a clear signal that you really don't have anything to worry about. You and your partner, you're on the same page. If you're in a relationship, but have not made it formal, haven't made it into a commitment, and hope that it comes to pass, take heart. It's coming with the Ten of Cups. But just remember, don't sabotage things at this time by causing problems where there really aren't any. Okay, so the Ten of Cups is paired with Temperance. Now, this Temperance card... Um, your relationships, they're likely to be going well. You may need to look at, at any deep personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. The ideal now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, your relationships, and with your goals and aspirations. And when you're asking about love and relationships and you get the temperance card, Often before you can really have peace and wisdom in your relationships, you need to have peace within yourself. So look, take a, try to take a good look at anything 
you might feel guilty about. Maybe some past mistakes that you feel you made. Um, then forgive yourself and let it go. It's the only way you can truly make progress in life and relationships. So with these two cards paired together, the Ten of Cups and Temperance for your present time, um, you've got a lot of happiness coming towards you, or you should be feeling that way. Um, if you're in a relationship, you don't have anything to worry about. You two are, you both are feeling each other really well. Okay, so uh, it's a very good time for love and happiness with this Ten of Cups. And being that it's paired with the Temperance, uh, you might find that that you need to do what it takes to find balance. Because with this Ten of Cups, your dreams, they, they, your dreams could actually come true now with this Ten of Cups. But um, make sure that you're finding balance, because with this temperance card, um, it's about maybe you have some deep personal issues that could kind of throw you off a little bit. And um, yeah, so it could leave you a little bit feeling a little bit imbalanced. But um, this Ten of Cups, yeah, you could dream. You could do a lot of dreaming right now. And like I said, uh, this Ten of Cups is like a wish fulfillment card. So, um, make some wishes. Do a lot of praying. And just try to balance out whatever you find imbalance so that you can enjoy this Ten of Cups at this time. Now, let's move on down to how your person is seeing you. Now, we have the King of Pentacles and then we have the Eight of Swords. Now, with this King of Pentacles, it's about success with money matters. It's a sign that now is really not a time to be a maverick. Now is a time to follow the established way of doing things. Now, if this is about a person when you get this card, if this is, if this is about someone you know or someone coming towards you, an actual person, it usually refers to a very masculine type of person. They could have dark hair, dark eyes. And this, and if this is referring to a man in your life, just know that this man, this man is someone that you can truly believe in, you can trust in, absolutely. And when you get this King of Pentacles in a reading and we're asking about love questions, it's an excellent card in the tarot in regards to love. Someone may come, may want to come along or come along and absolutely sweep you right off your feet with this King of Pentacles. So yes, try to put your best foot forward at this time, but don't pretend to be someone that you are not. Because this person, this King of Pentacles, they're going to love you for exactly who you are. So just be honest. And everything should fall into place if you're currently involved with someone. The relationship could very well move to a more comfortable place. But if you're dissatisfied, you need to say so for things to change. Don't expect your partner to read your mind at this time. So how your person is seeing you, they see you as... very focused on this connection very focused they see they see you as um, very focused and committed to this connection mm -hmm. yep they see you as wanting to be successful in this connection very much so and it's paired with the eight of swords now the eight of swords it's about a need to seriously re-evaluate a relationship 
Uh, it speaks about maybe sticking with someone that is actually bad for you, since you probably figure it's better than nothing. Now, if this is the case, you want to rethink that, because being in an unhealthy relationship is much worse than being alone. If you are looking for love and you're single and you get this Eight of Swords and you're reading as it is, first look at how well you love yourself because someone cannot come along and fix you. So you'll have to start where you are with this Eight of Swords. So also your person is seeing you as the Eight of Swords. So they see you in your head about them. You're stuck in your head, but you want to have success. You want to have success with this relationship, and you're very focused towards doing what it takes. Yeah, so you're yeah. You want to secure this relationship. You want success in it, but for some reason. They see you as being stuck in your head about them or the relationship. Or it could be maybe something that's going on in the relationship that's just got you really just... It's got you having some type of fear. But you, you really you want the relationship. You want great success with it. So that's how your person is seeing you. Now let's move on over and take a look at how you see them. You see your person as the Page of Swords and the Justice card. Now, to explain the Page of Swords, it indicates that messages are coming in. Some type of message is coming in. Now, this message it may not be what you're hoping to hear. But the Page of Swords it tells us that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or stepping on the toes of others. So, when it's talking about love and relationships, the Page of Swords is about mild conflict. You have to know when to push, know when to back off. Because many fights and discussions, they're actually not worth having as long as your partner is treating you with respect. So, you need to allow your partner to have his or, own, his or her own space. This trust is crucial for happiness. And if you're single and you get this page of swords in a reading, you want to definitely get out there and socialize. Because we all know that love just doesn't drop out of the sky by itself. Okay, so you're seeing your person as this page of swords. You see them as possibly trying too hard, just pushing too fast, or just they're going at it at, at a really sharp type of pace. Um, there's some type of mild conflict because of this. So, that's how you see them in the connection. There's something that they're trying too hard to do. And you see them as not knowing when to back off. Maybe it could be back off with fights and discussions. But they, you see them as um, having some type of conflict. Okay, and it could be kind of harsh, maybe harsh words. Um, you, you see them as sometimes maybe stepping on, uh, maybe, I don't want to say stepping on your toes, but that's kind of like what the Page of Swords explains, okay? And being that it's paired with the Justice card, now the Justice card when you're talking about love and relationships, if you're asking questions whether you or your partner is going to stay together, this card it usually says that uh, 
You choose to go your separate ways. So, there's some conflict in the relationship. Uh, maybe a little bit of disrespect with the stepping on the toes. And you see them just pushing too fast in certain situations. And being that it's with the justice card, it's about some type of separation. So you guys may take a break from each other or may decide to take a break from each other to bring clarity and truth to some situation. That's what the justice card is about. Some type of separation, maybe short term, maybe long term. Uh, but it's going to bring clarity and truth. Maybe um, this person will realize that they shouldn't be so um, so pushy or whatever the situation is. But yeah, there's the justice card is about some type of separation. But it could bring you two back together because like I said, this justice card is about bringing clarity and then truth. So that's how you see them. Now let's take a look at why it's all happening. We have the Hermit card and then we have the Eight of Wands. Now the Hermit card, it could be a very spiritual card. Um, also... You might be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying very hard to do the right thing. So when it talks about love and relationships, it's possible that the romance, I'm sorry, it's possible that a romance from your past may be rekindled. With this hermit card, you have to ask yourself, is that what you really want at this time? Because with the hermits, a romantic relationship, it's probably not a priority for you. So, why this is all happening is because someone in the relationship needs to clear their mind. Get rid of any baggage that they have. Clear their mind. And it's paired with the Eight of Wands. Now the Eight of Wands, when it talks about relationships, you're probably feeling you're not ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be forthcoming. Again, you have to remember that you cannot push someone before they're ready. Uh, you definitely can't get your needs met by force, so distract yourself if necessary because your partner may be back to you before you know it, offering you the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter. So, once again, this hermit card, it's all happening because uh, the relationship needs to cleanse or someone in the relationship needs to get rid of something that they've been carrying around. They could be carrying something that they've been, yeah, carrying around. Um, they could be carrying a relationship from the past. They could be holding on to that. Um, so they need to clear that out of their system. Clear their head and do whatever it takes. Um, because a lot of the situations that are happening in this relationship is because of that. And then with this eight of song, this eight of war, eight of wands. I'm sorry, with this eight of wands, someone wants to. It may seem like things are up in the air with this eight of wands, so uh, you or your person could be getting tired of waiting uh, for some type of communication to come in or for you two to communicate. It just seems like it's not happening, the communication 
and it needs to come in. So, and it just seems like it's just taking forever for you guys to sit down and talk about what's really going on. But communication is is really needed in this relationship with this Eight of Wands. And it's going to help to cleanse the relationship and get rid of a lot of baggage that's in the relationship. But you two have to find a way to communicate because as it stands right now, the communication is just up in the air and no one's bringing it down to earth. No one's focusing on communication is what really needs to happen. Cleansing and communication. Getting rid of baggage. Who's ever got baggage, if it's you or your person, that needs to be, get, that needs to be taken care of with a lot of talking. A lot of talking. So that's why all of this is happening. So, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended. I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for you two, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I hope that you're enjoying 2020 and that you have a wonderful February.